This year's Door Opener Award winner is John R. Twombly Jr. Esquire of Kennett Square. John introduced us to the Brenneman family and opened the door to legacy philanthropy. John and the Brenneman family agreed to share their story, but didn't want to appear on stage. So Karen, what can you tell us? <laughs> well, Winnie, <laughs> um, if anybody knows John Twombly in Kennett Square, he's a very humble, quiet man. And this is his second door opener award. He did come for the first one, but he just said, can you, I want you to share the story, but I don't want to come. And the Brenneman family, truthfully, um, Jason on our staff knows better. I didn't ever get to meet them. And uh, they have an incredible story that we wanted to tell you, but it's too soon for them to tell it themselves. So they actually asked that we tell you. Okay? So first, let's start with the name. Brother Moon and Sister Sun Fund. It turns out that Brother Moon and Sister Sun are from a traditional Korean folktale. And in the tale, the siblings face a very dangerous situation together, and they ultimately sacrifice for each other's well-being. So I am not Korean, but I will tell you the tale as best I can. Ready? Mm -hmm. Long ago when only the stars lit the sky. There lived a peasant woman and her two children. The older brother was a wise and responsible son. The younger sister had an innocent and trusting heart. And each day, the mother would walk down the mountain and sell rice cakes in the village below. One day, while returning home from the village, a fierce tiger stopped the mother in her path. I'm starving. Give me one of your rice cakes and I'll spare you. That was the tiger. Shivering with fear, the mother gave the tiger the best rice cake from her basket and continued on her way. Over each hillside, the tiger reappeared and demanded more until finally, the mother's basket was empty. <laughs> Please spare me, pleaded the mother. My children, my children, my healthy, fat children are waiting for me at home. They, she said healthy, not fat. I just added that. At the thought of eating three people for dinner, the tiger devoured the mother. Mmm, sorry. The hungry tiger knew that the children would be waiting for their mother's return. So he disguised himself in her clothes and set off for their house. As the night grew dark and the stars spilled through the skies, the children worried about their mother until they heard a voice outside. Thinking it was their mother, they threw open the door, but horrors, it was the tiger. They had been tricked. The children ran out of the house and climbed a tree to evade the tiger. But alas, the tiger was very hungry and they were very healthy children and the tiger was very ferocious. Despite their best efforts, the tiger climbed the tree and got closer and closer to them. The brother and sister pleaded for help. Heaven, if we are pure of heart, send us a strong rope. Suddenly, a strong rope tumbled from the sky, and the children climbed up and up and up and up and up safely into the heavens. The brother became the sun, and the sister became the moon. It turned out, however, the sister was afraid of the dark. So the brother, showing his love and compassion, let his sister, whose heart was full of light, become the sun. He who braved the night became the moon. And every day and night, the sister and brother cast the world, the world with their brilliant light. 
So the creation story explaining the origin of the sun and the moon. Did I scare the baby too much, Liz? We're good? We do have a little six-week-old in the audience. So not only does it explain the origin of the sun and the moon, it also restates and explains the closeness between the brother and the sister who faced danger together, they helped each other, and they sacrificed for each other for all eternity. So, brother, son, and sister, moon, let's talk about the Brenneman family. The Brenneman family of Westchester knows this folktale very well. In 1995, Steve and Elaine Brenneman, they adopted brother Asa, who was born in South Korea, and soon after they adopted sister Mia. Oh. Asa's adventurous spirit and his creative pursuits illustrated his love for life. Growing up, Asa enjoyed karate, art, skateboarding, and climbing anything he could find. Asa loved animals, nature, and spending time outside. After graduating from Hilltop School in 2014, Asa pursued a career in private finance. He invested in so much, stocks, crypto, watches, gold, cars, unique commodities, shall we say. But Asa's journey was not met without challenge. Whoops, sorry, I did it backwards. Let's do this one. Asa's journey was not met without challenge. Asa faced tiger-like adversity due to his autism. But Asa never let his diagnosis define him. Despite his difficulties forming connections, Asa sustained many meaningful friendships and relationships and exhibited remarkable courage and persistence. But tragically, a year ago, October 16, 2022, at the age of 27, Asa's life was cut short by a motorcycle accident. So, as the grieving Brenneman family met with their attorney, they expressed their desire to somehow honor Asa's legacy. And John Twombly mentioned the Community Foundation as an option to consider. And soon after, the Brenneman family signed an agreement with us and created the Brother Moon and Sister Sun Fund at the Community Foundation. The story. So Brother Moon, Sister Sun reflects Ace's concern for food insecurity, homelessness, education, and developmental needs. So those are the pressing issues that the Brother Moon and Sister Sun fund funds. So we at the Community Foundation are very humbled to be entrusted with carrying forth Ace's legacy of shining light on the world. And we also want to spotlight John Twomley's role in opening doors to this philanthropy, like the sun and the moon, now and forever. That's the story. Thank you.